Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. In the description below, you'll find a link to a video entitled how to reload 223 from start to finish evolved and in that video we load 50 rounds of 223 so today i'll be shooting the rounds that we reloaded in that video we'll be using bargain powder and a 73 grain eld match bullet and we have loads from 19.4 grains to 23.3 grains of powder and those velocities are 22 23 24 2500 and 2575 feet per second. So we're going to be shooting this at 100 yards with a Ruger American 223. So let's send them down and see how we do. 100 yards. As always, you're welcome to enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting, or you can skip forward to the results at the end. Here we go. Alright, the lighter charge weights didn't perform so well, but we began to tighten the groups up as that charge weight increased, so let's bring them in and take a look. Okay, so all of these shots right here, the point of aim was here at this target. So that really shot low so on my second target i used that target to try to adjust the scope so i moved the point of aim up considerably and uh, also adjusted the sights to the left when it was time to shoot this group again i came up here and i shot this group this was my third group. I adjusted the scope down some. It looks like it was shooting pretty much on center. And then I got this group here of five. So um, then I shot this group. This group, it was shooting high. And I like for it to shoot below the point of aim. So I adjusted it down a couple of clicks. And it was shooting left. I moved it one click to the right. It was shooting a little more light, right. We got a really good cluster here. Um, still shooting to the left here. So I moved it one more click to the right and got this group here. So this group looks pretty good. This group looks pretty good. This group looks pretty good. So we're going to have to focus somewhere between here and here. Maybe go with some charge weights in between the 21 and a half and the 23.3 see if we can get those tighter i like the varget powder it typically performs pretty well it's just not shooting well at these lighter charge weights 
and the scope might have been bumped. I'm not sure what happened with that because it's I've never had that happen before where I'm aiming here and it shoots down here. That just doesn't happen. So um, someone suggested from a previous outing that maybe my scope wasn't holding zero and that may be a, a possibility. But um, anyway, I'm going to continue to work with these groups and this powder and this chart, this um, bullet, the 73 ELD match and Varget powder. And we'll see if we can get those tightened up a bit. So we're going to take these home and measure them and see how they actually compare. Okay, this is going to be one of my weirdest outings from the range. In the description below, there's a link to a video that I recently posted entitled How to Reload 223 from Start to Finish Evolved. And in that video, I show load development and we actually load 50 rounds of ammo. And this is what we reloaded in that video. We're using 73 grain ELD match with Varget powder. Uh, and this time we're using Federal 205 primers. It's my first time to use these. But we're shooting the Ruger American 223 at 100 yards. And so on the first load, we started out with 19... 0.4 grains of powder and this was the point of aim the bottom of that circle is always my point of aim and I took my first shot the target was clear at that point but I took my first shot and I saw this bullet hole right here and I thought what the heck I wasn't shooting at that second row and so I took my next shot and the next and the next and the next and I ended up grouping over here so although this was my point of aim, this was the group for my very first target at 19.4 grains of powder. So I adjusted the scope. I tried to zero the scope. I moved it uh, up several clicks, probably five or six clicks, and to the left somewhat. And then so this was my first target, my first group. And then this was my second group, and I was trying to zero the scope here. So I took a shot, and I adjusted it. I took another shot, I adjusted it, and then I got it fairly well uh, on target here, shooting just below. Okay, so this was my first and second group. Uh, I had extreme spreads of 1.33 and 2.29. So that averaged 181 on the extreme spread. My best four out of five was 123 and 30, 132. So that averaged 128. So that first and second group were very poor. Okay, then for the on the third group for this 20.4 grains of powder, I moved back up to here because this target had not yet been hit all my shots on the first target hit here so I went back and I'm aiming it um, at my first target and I have one two three four five I have an extreme spread of 134 and that's really because two of these were shooting really high so uh, I adjusted the scope down and then I come back here uh, to the second row with my scope adjusted down and I'm still shooting somewhat to the right, but it is hitting lower. So I've got one, two, and there's one right there that you can't see it because it's in the black, three, four, five. So I'm at 192 on my second row at 20.4 grains of powder. So either I'm settling in or I'm finding where the charge weight needs to be, one or the other, because at 21 and a half grains, I have groups at 0.68 and 0.95. So I'm under an inch on both of those. My point of aim is still at the bottom of the bullseye. So it's still shooting high. So I over adjusted when I went up there. So it's still shooting high. But my best four out of five are 0.46 and 0.78. And that gives me an average for that row for the extreme spread of 0.82 and the best 4 out of 5 at 0.62. And of course I averaged these, I didn't talk about these, but I averaged 
the extreme spread and the best four out of five, and that gives me a score, which is in this case 72, and that's how I judge my groups. When I go down to 22 and a half grains, I had a group of 1.11 and a group of 0 0.60, and a best four out of five at 0 0.69 and 0 0.43. So that row averages 0.86 extreme and 0.56 with the best four out of five so that's a score of 71 so it's similar to the target above we have really good groups here though i mean this uh best four out of five even and it's a 0 0.60 group so at 22 and a half grains it's shooting pretty tight and even though this was loose i think this is because we had a flyer right here but this four out of five here was shooting pretty tight and then you come down to 23.3 grains of powder. And again, it's kind of odd that I had a group of 111 here and I have a group of 111 here. This best 4 out of 5 was 0.69. This best 4 out of 5 is 0.67. So that seems to be shooting fairly consistently. On my second group, however, I shot a 0.78 extreme spread with a 0.55 best 4 out of 5 so that gave me so that gave me over here an extreme spread average of 0.95 and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.61 so that gives me a score of 78 so we have scores here of 72 71 and 78 so I will probably work on developing these loads right here somewhere between 23.3 and 21.5. Uh, there may be some nodes in there that I'm missing. So I'm going to reload these uh, going in between these charge weights from 21.5 to 23.3 and see what we can get from that. So if you have any ideas or thoughts about this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Or if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, please let me know that. I always try to interact with everyone who comments. And I hope that you will like and share this with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.